The purpose of this session is to gain an understanding of careers you can build by working in Japan. Career design with a view to after working in Japan. And career trends after working in Japan. Lesson 1. What is a career? Let's get started with the session. Please listen to some stories from people who have experience working in Japan. What was good about working in Japan? あの、日本語の能力も上がるんですね。その日本語の能力が上がったことによって、えっと、将来の、えっと、就職活動にもつながりますね。私が新しい会社に入って、えっと、昇格。上げますね。それはその日本語ができたかな。できたことによって、いよいよ、いいと思いましたね。システムエンジニアとかその後はの IT のコンサルタントとして勤めてましたが、大学では多分あの自分のその専門の基礎だけ取得しますが、会社に就職してからまあたくさんと学びます。機関内
Career design is the process of first envisioning a career path and then creating a plan to make your career path happen. What is career design? The first part of career design is to know yourself and figure out who you want to be and then determine what you need to learn and do and how and by when you will accomplish these things. The next part is to decide what you want to become through your work and the goals you want to achieve in the future, and then design a course of action that includes your work and personal life. The objective of career design is to envision your ideal job or profession and figure out what skills you should acquire to realize that ideal position. This will allow you to continue working in your career without having to depend on one organization or company. If you can come up with a career design like this, it will clarify your career building objectives for working in Japan such as what skills you should learn while working in Japan and which industry you should gain work experience in. By having clear objectives while working in Japan, you can transform your experiences here into a turning point in your life and generate the energy that moves your future career closer to your ideal position. Let's listen now to some stories from people who have experience working in Japan. Did you think about career design? まずはまあシステムエンジニアとして仕事したい技術を身につけたいというのをまあまたもうちょっと幅広く言いたいというキャリアを上げていきたいというかまたそのビジネスだったり業務の知識をもっと身につけていきたいなあとはあのプロジェ
International Services As you can see, it is possible to change your status of residence to a different status by following the prescribed procedures. Listen now to some people who have changed their status of residence while working in Japan. What work did you do in your technical intern training? Why did you change to a specified skilled worker? Lesson 3. Return home and work at a company. This graph indicates what kind of companies foreign nationals with experience working in Japan work at after returning home. According to the survey, 27.7% are employed at a Japanese company. Respondents who found work at a different company from where they worked before coming to Japan can be divided into three patterns. Work at an affiliate of the company they worked at in Japan. Work at a local Japanese company and Work at a local company. Finding work at an affiliate of the company worked at in Japan or at a local Japanese company can be assumed to be a result of people regarding their work in Japan as a career step. Evidence of this are reports that 72% of those who found a job after returning home said their salary had increased from their previous salary before coming to Japan. After returning to your home country, you can get closer to your ideal position by setting personal goals with an eye to your career design and building a career. Let's listen now to some stories from people who have experience working in Japan. What job did you have during your stay in Japan? What is your current job? Why did you want to work at a Japanese company? Lesson 4. Return home and start a business. Manufacturing and agriculture are two areas where people are expected to start businesses because they can make direct use of the skills and techniques learned in Japan. There have also been reports of people leveraging their Japanese language skills to launch businesses in such fields as tourism and Japanese language schools. Aside from technical skills, other work experiences in Japan that are very useful are learning business skills, such as communication skills that facilitate teamwork, management capabilities, awareness of time management and attention to detail in work. These also include honing your management skills, business planning skills, and ability to raise funds, which are vital to starting a business. Now, let's take a look at the specifics needed to start a business. A business plan is a blueprint for your business. Some of the necessary aspects of a business plan are, the business concept, 
Specific business details. Organization and management structure. Income and expenses plan and financing plan. And risk factor analysis and risk mitigation measures. The skills you learn in your work experience in Japan are also useful in formulating such business plans. Some things you can do to help start and grow your business are to join communities of entrepreneurs or returnees from Japan and participate in entrepreneurship programs and business competitions. These approaches are effective ways of improving business plans, raising funds, and building networks with new talent. At our Japan centers, we run programs to support these kinds of entrepreneurs. Another idea is to make use of the personal connections made in Japan to form a business between Japan and your country. Let's listen now to some stories from people who have experience working in Japan. Why did you want to start a business after returning home? ずっと how was working in Japan useful in starting a business? Working in Japan is a great opportunity that can open up many possible careers for you. To conclude this session, let's hear from some people who have built careers after working in Japan. What was good about continuing to work in Japan? コンサルティングと、あの、会社のその教えていただいたことで、その後はずっとその使い続けてってるっていう感じですね。メンバー 2人、how was this session? In this session, we looked at various careers. We encourage you to think about what kind of career you want to build, making use of the opportunity of working in Japan.